Forest County Humane Society is beyond capacity and in desperate need of help from donations to volunteers to forever loving homes. I connected with Director Crystal Ross to share more on the current status of the shelter. Forest County Humane Society's unwavering compassion and devotion to help as many animals as possible that are in need has left workers at the shelter struggling to accommodate any more than they already have resulting in animals being abandoned and worse. We are bursting at the seams. We have over 40 dogs. Um, we have a waiting list for other dogs and puppies to, to come in. Basically, as we adopt one out, I try to help the next person. Um, it's just, we're just uh, incredibly full. The shelter is also housing 30 cats and an additional three litters of bottle-fed puppies. With many mouths to feed and vet expenses, the shelter is facing hardship. It's a huge financial burden because we are a nonprofit. You know, it's hard on everybody, but it's just really, really been hitting the shelters because we depend on donations. Ross said she understands the hardships people are facing today. So even having some time to spare, even a load of laundry would mean the world as the shelter currently has no volunteers and only a few dedicated members who work dog tired around the clock. Any type of volunteers is greatly appreciated, more than I could ever express. Um, and, you know, any type of donations, towels, blankets, anything anybody can do is just a huge blessing. Ross said the intake at the shelter hasn't been slowing down at all. Well, it's been this way for like oh, well over a year, and it just is not stopping. <laughs> it's just continuing to get worse every day. There's constantly poor little animals that are coming in as strays um, that normally strays would get claimed right away. The strays aren't even getting claimed. During my visit to Forest County Humane Society, I spent time with the adoptable dogs and learned their stories, some of them having been in the shelter for a year and some of them closer to four years. Bella has spent four out of her five years of life as a shelter dog. Chloe, a two and a half year old with over half of her life spent in the shelter. Kai, a three-year-old male who has spent his entire life without a person of his own. To name a few, each sweet companion having a sad story of their own, never knowing life as man's best friend. My hope is that um, people, <laughs> you know, try to get their pets spayed and neutered and so try to stop this endless cycle of poor little animals. Ross, in her compassionate nature, devoted to helping any animal in need, said if you've ever felt like making an impact, now is a great opportunity to do so. Yeah, support your local shelter uh, any way you can. It's, it's, all shelters are probably going through the same thing and anything you can do to support them is, I'm, is greatly appreciated. If you'd like to help the cause, even if you are unable to adopt, Ross urges viewers to share adoptable pets from their Facebook page and someone you know might be able to. If you are interested in donating, you can do so in person or online and volunteers are appreciated at any time.